Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hacker Asia Raven and I'm here with my recommend review of Digimon Adventures 2020 episode number 67 which is the series finale and yeah, I mean, I think all of us can agree that even though Digimon Adventure 2020 had certain favorable enjoyable moments, it wasn't the best Digimon anime series out there. I think that would be the verdict of the majority of the people who ended up watching it, but I could be wrong. Anyway, coming back to the finale, episode number 61, it opens up with Yamato and Taichi uh, up on top of um, uh, Omegamon and they're making their way in uh, towards uh, uh, the main uh, villain, uh, Neomon, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I was actually looking forward to watching their fight, but then again I was like, wait, this is the final episode, so the actual fight with the actual main villain isn't uh, isn't even going to take up the entire episode will it still be enjoyable and in a sense it was enjoyable but i wouldn't have minded if it were it if it, it was allowed to be more extended maybe have the finale showing what the chosen children are up to doing in their own world in the next episode in a mini episode but it is what it is so omega mon is make, is making its way towards the main villain and this is the body of the main villain and yeah it's currently sleeping however when it wakes up there are a whole lot of eyes around the main villain's uh, body so while that's happening you can see that a lot of the distortions are occurring in the real world where uh, where the main digimon villain's tentacles are are uh, are trying to steal the data from uh, the human world and there's red lightning and the people over there the human population they are still able to see what's happening through their devices so yeah the main villain ends up waking up and as i said there are a whole lot of eyes uh, there are also eyes and mouths on the cape which which gave a very creepy feeling like you can see the teeth uh, on on the chest all the way to the abdomen like a whole lot of teeth it can bite it can see and all of that stuff so yeah the main villain is like i'm going to destroy everything i will i will absorb despair pain everything i will create a void and all of that stuff so as i said the humans are able to see uh, tai chi and yamato and the rest uh, fighting the main villain on their mobile devices and i'm like you know what when these kids return to earth they better be treated as heroes <laughs> so while uh, yamato and tai chi are busy fighting inside the core outside the core uh, uh, takiro and hikari are trying to uh, fight and survive the, being attacked by tentacles and as they're fighting the rest of the chosen ones also come back in the previous episode, they were stuck in this limbo, weird limbo space, but through the hope of uh, that they found inside of themselves, as well as their Digimon friends, and as well as the hope from the human world, that allowed uh, all of them to come back. And they're like, you know what, we're going to make our final stand here while Yamato and Taichi are busy inside, uh, fighting inside the core. And this is also where Joe and uh, Koshiro notice something that the tentacles are acting weirdly so it turns out that uh, while Taichi and Yamato are fighting inside the core the core can only concentrate or focus completely on one specific matter so as Taichi and Yamato are taking away the core's uh, attention the tentacles aren't really uh, functioning as they should and this is where Joe and Koshiro are like you know what if we continue attacking the core then the, atten then the attention will be diverted towards us and that might help uh, Taichi and Yamato inside because the main will villains uh, focus will be disturbed so they're like you know what we have to play a role uh, in in this final battle and I really like that I really liked uh, to see the rest of the chosen children playing their part in helping uh, Tai Chi and Yamato so the, a fight ensues and it's a very well choreographed choreographed fight in my opinion we got to see a lot of sword slashes gun blasts uh, dodges and a whole lot of stuff like this is a very very powerful main villain it's not very easy for a megamon to uh, fight it as i said lasers uh, beams a whole lot of stuff so as they're fighting yamato's laser is able to hit the main villain and a part of its body ends up freezing but still it's not enough so uh, taichi comes in with a sword and he plunges the sword right into the main villain's chest and yeah but apparently the main villain wanted that to happen because it ends up uh, holding the sword with the teeth in its abdomen and this is where it starts to infect uh, Omegamon 
and things are turning bad because uh, the main villain is like you know what i'm going to destroy you i'm going to absorb your data i'm going to absorb all of the pain all of the despair and as it's uh, infecting uh, omega mon's data the voice of the main villain is, uh, can also be heard by the other chosen one and this is where joe mimi sora and the rest are like you know what we aren't going to give up right now uh, this is our final stand we have to give it everything we got so we can uh, we get to see each individual crest shine bright uh, where uh, and each uh, chosen one ends up saying something that holds to their to their crest. Joe is like, I'm not going to give up. Koshiro is like, I'm not going to give up. Sora is like, you know what? I'm I'm fighting the cause of love. I want to I want to protect my friends and everyone and all of that stuff. So uh, the shining crests ends end up uh, giving a very powerful boost to Omega Mon. And Omega Mon is able to uh, brush away uh, the infection. And yeah, because of uh, the, the, the power of the Chosen Ones, this is where we get to see Omega Mon evolving into its uh, Omega Mon Alter S form. And it looked very cool. Like, I wouldn't mind a toy figure, a highly detailed toy figure of this uh, Digimon. But yeah, the fandom was waiting for Omega Mon to get a, to get a new... Uh, not necessarily a new evolution, basically a different ed evolution. So here we have it. We have Omega Mon Alter S form, and it looked very cool. And yeah, Omega Omega Mon Alter S is able to make quick work of the main villain. It's able to uh, shoot a beam at it and then slash it open. And yeah, as the main villain is disappearing, a weird purplish crow uh, cloud erupts from its body and a mouth forms and the mouth is uh, trying to consume Omega Mon, but, but Omega Mon also destroys it. And yeah, the main villain is no more. And this is where Omega Mon is like, you know what, if you're truly a Digimon, this this isn't the end for you, you will be reborn. However, time will tell if you will be reborn as a good Digimon or a bad Digimon because every new life has a whole lot of potential. And that Omega Mon is like, you know what, I'll see you, I'll see you again. So yeah, the finale talked a bit about potential because the chosen ones ended up being chosen. If you remember what happened in the Digimon movies, the recent one, uh, the recent movies, the chosen ones are chosen and they're supposed to be young because young people have a whole lot of potential. And yeah, Yamato and Taichi and the rest use their potential to help the Digimon world, to make friends. And then all of that uh, potential accumulated into their victory against uh, the big catastrophe. So yeah, the villain has been defeated. And as I said, I wouldn't have minded this fight to continue into, uh, or, or at least take the entire episode, but uh, it is what it is. So yeah, it's time for uh, the kids to go home. And I, I wanted to mention this scene because as everyone is taking a breath, they're relaxing. This is where Mimi is like, okay, there's no other trouble we have to face after this, right? This is the end. And Palmon is like, yeah, this is the end. And I'm like, Mimi is such a mood because if I was in her place, I would have asked the same question. I would have been like, okay, so we defeated the main villain. That's it, right? There's nothing more for us to do. So we get to see a uh, new Digi X popping up. We get to see new Digimon being created. We also get to see the main villain being resurrected. So time will tell if it ends up being a bad Digimon or a good Digimon. And we get to see Leomon, Wisemon, and other Digimon uh, sharing the gospel of the Chosen One and their partner Digimon to the new Digimon. And yeah, the new Digimon are like, you know what? I would like to go to the human world one day. And this is also where uh, Wisemon, as he's talking to some of the Digimon, he's like, you know what? This is the first time that the Digimon world ended up being protected due to the power uh, or the bond of friendship between Digimon and, and, and their humans. So with the human world and Digimon world being connected in such a manner, only time will tell uh, what new changes, uh, changes will occur in time down the road. So we get to see the rest of the, uh, rest of the human children uh, uh, doing their stuff in the human world. Joe is continuing to study. Sora is just having fun in the park. Uh, Taichi and Yamato continue to meet each other. And uh, Mimi has uh, apparently opened up a new company. She's a CEO of a new company. And I guess Koshiro helps her out with certain things. And yeah, uh, one of the biggest complaints that I uh, realized while I was covering the fandom is that the Digimon reboot really took away a lot of Sora's backstory and yeah I can see why that's an issue because Sora's backstory did a lot to inform her character and how it related to the crest of love and seeing Sora just running happily in the park 
uh, with the Piyomon in the sky, it kind of felt very, it didn't have have the same impact uh, compared to her trying to trying to grow as a person considering the troubled relationship she had with her mom. But it is what it is. So uh, Koshiro apparently has also been working on a digital gate and the episode op- uh, closes with uh, a shot of Agumon and Taichi in the digital world. You can see that this is the digital world if you notice the tree over here. So yeah, the kids are able to go back into the Digimon, uh, digital world and to help Digimon or take care of issues, I guess. So yeah, their adventure will continue. However, the, the story of the main chosen ones has come to an end as of now. Next week, if I remember remember correctly next week we're going to get a new anime it's a totally new anime uh, which basically compares i guess uh, digimon with uh, digital ghosts now i am look i am looking forward to that anime and i will try my best to cover it for the geekiri i will also be writing a review of this particular episode for the geekiri as well the the uh, the, uh, the link to the article will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up. Let me know what you thought of the finale. Let me know what you thought of uh, the Digimon Adventure 2020 anime series as a whole. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys while uh, talking about Digimon Ghost Wars or Ghost Game. Yeah, I think the anime is called Ghost Game. Uh, but yeah, let me know. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.